How to boot directly into Iran with RetroPie. This is a continuation of a previous video on how to install RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 4. At the time this video was made, RetroPie doesn't have an official release for the Raspberry Pi 4. It's a bit of a moving target. The instructions change slightly with each release of RetroPie or each Raspberry Pi version that comes out. So I'll start with one method for having RetroPie boot directly if you're using the Raspbian desktop. This isn't my preferred method, so I don't recommend you follow along with these steps here. I just wanted to show you that there's another option. And once I do this, I'm going to delete my changes and go with a different option. What I'm going to do here is modify the auto start script. If you're in the user interface, open a terminal window, or if you're using emulation station, exit out by hitting F4 and get to the command prompt. And I'll type in this command here. And then I'll add this command to the bottom of that file. I'll press Ctrl X to exit and then save. Now when I start my Raspberry Pi, which is running the Raspbian desktop, it'll go directly into RetroPie. So again, this isn't the method that I prefer. Before I continue with the restart, I'm going to open the folder and then tree up to the root and show you that the auto start file that is typically with emulation station is not installed. So if I go to the folder opt RetroPie configs all, I should see one that says auto start.sh in here, and I don't. So I'll go ahead with the reboot. And instead of loading into the desktop, it goes directly into RetroPie. Now from here, if you want to add ROMs or get back to your desktop, you either hit F4 or you push the start button and quit emulation station. Before I go back to the desktop, I'm going to go into the RetroPie menu and then RetroPie setup to modify the auto start file. It's actually going to create the auto start file, which wasn't in that folder I showed you earlier. You can get to the RetroPie setup in two ways. Either go to the RetroPie menu and select it, or type in this command into a terminal window. And then I go down to configurations and tools. Click down to so I select auto start. And then I want to start emulation station at boot. I back out of this menu and then exit the RetroPie setup script. And now I go change that other auto start script that I modified earlier. You can skip this step if you didn't do that original method. Now when I go into the folder opt RetroPie configs all, you see I have an auto start file in there and it has emulation station starting. Now using this method, you can boot directly into a ROM. I'll paste this line in above emulation station auto, and then I'll change the name of the file at the end to my ROM name. I have one word of advice related to this. I recommend copying and pasting the command in. I don't know what it is, if it's the underscores that give me trouble, but whenever I try to type it in, it doesn't seem to work right. So go ahead and just copy and paste it from the video description and then modify the end with your ROM name. Now what I'm showing you here is if all you have is a terminal window, you can type this command in and still edit that auto start script. Now I'm going to reboot the system. Now you can see it boots directly into the game that I chose, which is the Fallen Angels. And I'm going to play as this guy named Cool. Man, he certainly does look cool. He's got this deep V that goes all the way down past his belt to his underwear. This guy must have been killing it back in the 90s in Japan. Here I am apparently fighting this barmaid. I don't know what the hell he's saying, but I think it's like, No, I'm not going to leave. Closing time means nothing to me. I think this guy does his best work on his back. That was another really masculine move where I jumped on her shoulders. This guy sure is good at beating up a lady. Okay, F this. I'm done with this game. So you push start and select to exit. So what this is doing here is booting directly into the game. And then when I exit the game, it's booting into emulation station. And then if for some reason I need to go into the file system, I can just exit emulation station by pushing start 
or F4. When I quit Emulation Station, it's going to put me right back into the command prompt. And so to start the user interface again, typing in the command start X. I found out how to do this from the forum on arcadecontrols.com. And I want to thank the user PhillyB95 for being so thorough in his description. I was really happy to be able to boot directly into a ROM, and I hope this is useful for you too. Thanks for watching. Yeah, dear, yeah, dear, that's all, folks. Ah!